threats to the bio. Overpopulation in cities such as Cairo, Egypt have led to changes in the ecosystem of the desert surrounding the city. Increased pollutants in the air leads to changes in the pH of the water. This is intensified by the fact that there is next to zero water in the desert, which leads to the pollutants becoming much more concentrated. Runoff from farms also pollutes the water supply of rivers such as the Nile. The desert is also expanding due to human development. When plants are killed or cut down, the soil becomes loose and eventually blows away, leaving sand behind. Deserts such as the Sahara are increasing rapidly by several miles every year. Conservation The desert biome is home of extreme diversity as far as animal and plant life goes, and the ecosystem relies on every animal doing their part. If the habitat for a certain species of animal is destroyed, animals that may have predated on these species will end up lacking food. If the desert becomes more developed, species may be lost and the natural beauty of the desert destroyed. The interdependency between species is an integral part of the desert and all other ecosystems. No human activity should come before it. Abiotic factors. The soil type. It's very sandy, underdeveloped soil. Few organic molecules and nutrients are present. The soil is comparable to soil you would find during primary succession. It is very dry. Deserts generally receive less than 25 centimeters of rain per year. Plants have evolved mechanisms to conserve water over the long dry season. Most deserts are characterized by very high temperatures recorded up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Although deserts like Antarctica are extremely cold, generally they are hot. Annually, annually, deserts receive very little or no rainfall. Temperatures are generally high and the air is dry. The weather in a desert is often caused by a rain shadow. The moisture in the air is lost traveling up a mountain, so air on the other side of said mountain is very dry and carries little water. One would think it would be simple to define a desert However, the desert is a complex biome of more than one single type. A good point to note about all deserts is that they get less than 100 centimeters of precipitation per year in one short season, leaving water in source supply for the rest of the year. Simply put, a subtropical desert is warm with an average temperature of above 50 degrees and precipitation of up to 100 centimeters per year. A temperate desert has the same precipitation pattern with less than 50 degrees average temperatures. Plant and animal adaptations. To live in a desert and survive and thrive, you must have specific adaptations. Whether you are an animal or plant, you must be able to conserve water. One common example of a special adaptation is water conservation. Camels have their humps, which they use to store water, and barrel cacti also store water in their tissue. Reptiles use the sun and bask to regulate their body temperature, and some animals burrow into the ground to protect themselves against the temp temperature and to regulate their body temperature. Threats to the biome. Overpopulation in cities such as Cairo, Egypt have led to changes in the ecosystem of the desert surrounding city. Increased pollutants in the air lead to changes in the pH of the water. This is intensified by the fact that there is no, next to zero water in the desert. Study questions. Number one. What are the four major types of desert? Hot and dry, semi-arid, coastal, cold. Number two. Temperatures can soar up to blank degrees in hot deserts. 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures dip down to blank degrees in hot deserts at night. Negative 1 degrees Fahrenheit. Along what latitudes are deserts most commonly located? 30 degrees north or south latitude. Deserts compose blank percent of the Earth's surface. 20 percent.